And Hi, I'm Donald with Steambright Supply, and today we're going to talk about the Gardner Denver TriFlow TI-406 vacuum pump blower. Now this unit is commonly used for your slightly larger truck mounted carpet cleaning and tile cleaning machines because some of the great features that it has. This particular unit, uh, to begin with, is called a 406 blower because it uses a 4 inch gear system and the blades or the lobes that are inside of it that are gulping the air are 6 inches across. Now this unit uh, is used in our carpet cleaning industry a lot because of the great performance that it offers. This particular unit is a, quite a bit quieter than you'll get in a lot of traditional blowers and at the same time it's producing more airflow. Uh, with your hand over the end of your vacuum hose with your vacuum relief system set at 14 inches of mercury, this unit is still going to move 307 cubic feet of air in a minute. Um, even at 10 inches of mercury, like if you had the wand typically on the carpet, it's moving 337 cubic feet of airflow per minute. Now, uh, some other things, just as a side note, the, the, the blades inside of this housing are shaped like this. And the air is actually going to come in and it's going to travel around the outside and outbound. So this one, the air is going to flow this way and go out. It's going to come in here and go out this way. Now that means that these are engineered to only spin in one direction. And if you are uh, building a machine or want to know exactly, do I have the right blower? Am I putting in the right application? Over here on the side of the blower, there is some stamped arrows. And this arrow is giving you the direction of the exterior side of the lobe. So this lobe is traveling this direction. And since we know the air is traveling over the outside of it, this is going to be the discharge side of this blower. Now you can orientate these in a couple of different ways, but if you have a specific uh, way that you need to have your machine oriented, please check with us and we'll make sure we get you the right part. The, uh, did I mention about the sight tubes? I can't remember if I did or not. Mm -hmm. But on the side mm -hmm. of these, you, because you put synthetic oil in it, uh, there is a little glass window and normally because this blower is, this would be the bottom of it, the way this is currently set up, the oil would be filling up the bottom of it to be halfway up the sight tube here and halfway up this sight tube on this other side over here. Uh, naturally you would use the bottom as the drain ports and you'd also on the top side there's a, a vented port, it has a little tiny hole drilled in it to let the air so naturally as the, the, the oil on the inside of it expands from heat or cold it'll come out and, and let that fluctuate. Uh, if you do have to orientate the blower in a different position naturally the, the sight window like say if you were going to use it in this position I'd have to relocate the sight to down here I'd have to reorientate my vent to up here. Uh, this is an inch and a quarter inch shaft uh, uses two and a half inch pipe thread connections on the in and outbound side and um, uh, this particular unit weighs about 225 pounds if I remember correctly. So good option for your truck mount and uh, thanks for watching.